Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Dignitaries, Director Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel National Police Academy, Sri V. N. Rai, Joint Director Basic Course, Sri Milind Kanaskar, Sir, the Academy feels privileged to get this opportunity to seek your blessings and advice for these young entrants into the IPS. Sir, the batch consists of 126 IPS officer trainees, including 18 female IPS officer trainees. Now I request the director, Sadar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy, Sri V. N. Rai, to kindly present before Honorable President of India the basic course training report of the 64 RR 2011 batch. Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, respected dignitaries, the IPS officers, trainees of 64 regular recruit batch, and members of the media. It is my proud privilege today to introduce the Indian Police Service officers of the 64 regular batch to Honorable President of India. Sir, in nutshell, the batch profile is as follows. Out of the 122 officer trainees present here, 85 have previous work experience of varied nature and duration. The average age of the officer trainees in this batch is 28 years and 36 of them are married. The officer trainees come from a rich academic background with as many as 52 having engineering degrees followed by 24 with background in humanities streams, 9 with medicine, 4 with law and 8 with science background. There are three trainees holding PhD degrees, eight MPhil degrees, one MBA degree, four com commerce degrees, and nine others. There are as many as 18 female officers in this batch, and one of them, Ms. Isha Pant, has been at just the best all-round IPS officer trainee of the batch. Sir, so this is only the second time in the history of IPS training that a female officer has earned this distinction. The batch has completed 46 of training at National Police Academy on 2nd of November this year and has thereafter undergone two weeks of study come culture, culture tour and two weeks of CRPF and army attachments. They are presently undergoing familiarization attachments with various central police organizations and central armed police forces in Delhi after which they will proceed for a 28-week district practice, practical training exposure in their respective cadres. The training will round up with a four-week of phase two training at the academy during coming July, August 2013. Sir, it gives me a great satisfaction to submit that the National Police Academy has made significant strides in upgrading the contents and methodologies of the basic course training of these officers, keeping pace with the field objectives and contemporary challenges for policing in the country. In consonance with the mission of the academy, the training strategy at NPA has evolved around preparing leaders for the Indian police who will lead the force with courage, uprightness, dedication, and a strong sense of service to the nation. Training inputs were focused on developing competency for service delivery. The competency has been seen as addressing the aspects of personal and social sensitization, ethical and legal orientation, and domain and intersegmental skills. With a view to focus on democratization parallel to regimentation, suitable learning platforms have been created in the academy to facilitate the spirit of free and frank discussion. Honorable Sir, these officer trainees are looking forward to the forthcoming district practical training that they would undergo for 28 weeks from January 2013. During this phase, they will get on the job training in police station management by working as SHO of a police station and also hands-on training in district subdivision management by closely associating with the subdivisional and district level functionaries. In July, August 2013, the trainees will reassemble at the National Police Academy for a period of four weeks 
to undergo thorough debriefing on these field experiences prior to assuming charge of regular assistant superintendent of police in their respective cadres. Honorable President, sir, your tireless zeal in nation building is well known. You have tirelessly worked for the government schemes for the upliftment of masses of this country throughout your long and illustrious public life. As Director of the National Police Academy, I feel overwhelmed in expressing our thanks for granting this opportunity and agreeing to interact and sensitizing the batch of young IPS officers. Your initiative and pat patronization would give them, I'm sure, a strong parting values and be their guiding light throughout their future careers. Jai. Now, I invite officer trainees Anna Malai and Isha Pant to share their training experiences. Honorable President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, Director of National Police Academy, Sri V. and Roy, other officers present here. Good afternoon to you all. It's a unique honor for me that I'm standing here to present my experiences to you all as an IPS probationer. Like many young men and women of India, we all entered this service with dreams in our heart and a huge sense of idealism about trying to make our country a better place to live in. After joining the National Police Academy, named after one of our country's proudest son, Sri Sadavallabhai Patel, every passing day showed us how privileged and fortunate the select few we are and how enormous the responsibility that is being entrusted to us. People from different parts of India, from different walks of life, quickly gelled together and became an integral part of the 64th batch of regular recruit of the Indian Police Service. Our academy lays equal emphasis on developing the physical as well as the mental faculty of all of us. Our day starts at 5.15 a.m. when we proceed for our regular PT. This is followed by four hours of enriching indoor session where subjects like law, management, forensic science, forensic medicine are taught by our own in-house faculty as well as from people from outside. In the afternoon, we have another three hours of session that focuses on drill, swimming, horse riding, firing of different weaponry, tactics and other subjects. We also visited many parts of our country during our training. Visits to Rishikesh and Mussoori for river rafting and rock climbing, election attachment to the state of Uttar Pradesh for learning the intricacies of election management, Gwalior and Indore to the BSF Academy for weapons training, and also visits in and around Hyderabad for our regular lawn, duty, lawn and order duty. All of this had only added that extra bit of worldly wisdom to us. Sir, this batch has got a motto called Sensitized Police for Empowered Society, where many compulsory field activities are arranged within the state of Andhra Pradesh to sensitize us. We also had frequent seminars regarding child trafficking, visibly lost children, problems with respect to the vulnerable section, left-wing extremism, as well as terrorism. Sessions like Kulamanch, which is an open forum as director talked about, where anybody can add their opinion, model police station, and pre talks are some of the unique additions of our batch. Different societies and clubs that are managed and run by the probationers themselves have only made our training interesting and enriching. Our batch has enormously benefited from this approach of holistic training, coupled with application-oriented training methodology. These are the first in NPS history. Lastly, sir, I would like to quote our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, who once memorably said, to give pleasure to a single heart by a single act is better than a thousand heads bowing in prayer, unquote. I'm very sure all of us realize the enormity of the job that is before us. In times to come, we'll be standing for the right of the last man when his or her voice is not heard, shouldering the oppressed when they are wronged, paragons of integrity and trustworthiness ourselves by our actions and deeds, and most importantly, standing for what is right and just, even when we are all alone. With these words, I would like to thank the Honorable President of India and my colleagues here for their patient listening. Thank you very much, sir.